One of the plenary speakers that I think we're all very excited about this year uh, is, is to hear about the uh, disaster recovery in Japan. There was a 9.0 magnitude earthquake that occurred off the coast of Japan. Um, it occurred at 2.46 p.m. About 45 minutes later, a tsunami rolled, started to roll in. Um, the waves grew as high as about 14 meters, um, which ended up swamping a lot of the northeastern coast of Japan. Um, one of the highly publicized outcomes of that tsunami uh, was, was the reactor at uh, Fukushima Daiichi. Daiichi. And uh, that reactor uh, was the first triple core meltdown in history, um, resulted in major damage, evacuation zone of 20 kilometers, um, and resulted in, uh, in about 80,000 refugees. Um, a less publicized impact of, of the uh, earthquake tsunami was the impact on the telecommunication networks in Japan. And so they ranged from uh, multiple hundreds of uh, base stations and central offices that were swamped. Um, the equipment was damaged. Uh, many places the, the, the offices were completely ruined. Um, fiber, fiber, uh, fiber cables were cut and damaged. Um, and it, all in all, more than 1.5 million people actually lost connectivity as a result of the earthquake tsunami. Um, very quickly, uh, Japan uh, moved out. Uh, in Japan, the telecommunication companies moved out um, and restored, uh, within about a month and a half after the event, restored communication to, about what, to most of the 1.5 million people affected. Um, this year, we're, we're very fortunate to have a speaker from the Ministry of Internal Affairs and Communications, uh, part of the Japanese government, uh, come in to describe um, this, this event, um, the impact uh, that it had on the networks and, and how the recovery uh, progressed. And so the ministry, uh, the MIC in Japan, is responsible, basically has jurisdiction over a wide variety or wide range of, uh, of areas, but one of the key areas is information technologies uh, and communications uh, and how it affects people's lives. Um, and so the speaker that we have is Mr. Iseo Sugino. Uh, he's a director of uh, research and development uh, projects in, in the MIC. And uh, he will be working, uh, he's agreed to work with uh, some of the major telecommunication uh, areas in Japan, or uh, network providers in Japan, uh, including NTT and KDDI, to basically uh, present on what happened uh, as a result, uh, what happened to the networks as a result of the event, um, how the network providers uh, dealt with the, the problems, what technologies they used, and then the MIC uh, is working with those technology provider or with the service providers to look at how to prevent uh, such an impact of ha from happening in the future. And uh, so I think I think we're all very fortunate to uh, to have Mr. Sugino uh, as a speaker. Uh, very relevant topic that he's going to be presenting on. Uh, I think it'll be one of the exciting, uh, most exciting talks of the conference.